As Ding Xunwei was winning the 2019 UK Snooker Championship, Steve Davis believed he noticed something significant about his technique. He's one of the few players that plays with centre ball striking for the vast majority of shots on angled cuts. If you learn to play with no outside side spin, as it's called, you, you actually can become a, a far better and more accurate potter of a ball. But what exactly is outside side spin? How can it help you pop balls? And what are the advantages of not using it? Welcome back and if it's your first time watching one of our videos and it's fantastic to have you here. To explain how outside side spin works we first need to look at lining up some ordinary shots. To pot a straighter shot like this so all I've got to do is get the cue ball in line with the red and the pocket somewhere about there. But this will however change if I decide to play the shot with side spin. When the two balls contact here, the right hand side on the white is going to push the red slightly thinner, meaning I have to play it slightly thicker to pop the ball. The white is currently directly in line with the red and here's the tiny adjustment you have to make to pot it with right hand side. Left hand side does the complete opposite and means I now have to strike the red a fraction more to the right, again this is barely noticeable. But what exactly does this have to do with outside spin? Well, this isn't something you use on straighter shots. This is more for angled cuts. Like this one. Look what happens if I do exactly the same thing I just did on a thinner shot. Here I'm playing the white behind the black directly in line with the pocket. And what happens? It misses by a small way. Because a collision between two balls isn't instantaneous, on a thinner shot like this it has the effect of pushing it on slightly. It's exactly the same reason why I'm aiming for this plant and this trick shot to miss to about there on the side cushion, because it's going to get squeezed down the table as well, exactly the same as the white and black I did in the shot earlier. You can barely tell we've got a book of trick shots out right now, can you? that hopefully players like Jack and Blackpool in the United Kingdom will be interested in. So I'm going to play exactly the same shot again, but I'm not going to change the way I line it up. The only thing I'm going to do differently is play it with left hand side. What you might describe as outside spin here. And it goes directly towards the pocket. So what I'm doing here is using exactly the right amount of side spin to compensate for the exact amount that the angle is straightening the shot up by. So the spin's pushing the ball wider for the exact same amount it would be straightening up. And you can simply do this by adding slightly more side spin as the shot gets thinner and thinner. The big problem is though, it means allowing for and playing shots with side. And doing that means all shots are a lot harder to play. And I know players like Lashland from Fairline New Zealand want a better option than that. Because side spin not only affects the path of the object ball, it deflects away from your cue and spins on the cloth, and this is hard to get used to and get right every single time. Because the problem is, all you've got to do is hit the ball a little bit too hard and you'll miss any shot. So does this mean that Ding plays with no side spin at all? Well, no, it just means that he doesn't use side spin to help him pot the ball, just play positional shots. Even though outside side spin can make it easier to play certain shots, in the long run you're going to be in a disadvantage. As you're not going to be so consistent and this is just, just going to make the game harder to learn. Put simply, you'll be able to improve quicker if you learn to play all shots without side spin. And I know in the long run that's what players like Ypsilon from Buenos Aires in Argentina actually want. So if you want to find out more about playing shots with side spin, have a look at this video. Or if you want to find out what you can actually buy a snooker player, then have a look at this video. And remember, don't just watch, play, and make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel. And visit the website where you can order our book right now. See you later.